part of the Voyeur's Trail Show at my boy, Demi TV. It's Wave God in this motherfucker. Hey, shout my nigga Demi T, though. Dean TV Cooler Merch in the description box. Below. Go copy, son. Click the link in the description box below and support your boy. Dean Family and Dean Nation. Today we're doing the truth about Valentine's Day and it's from Young Pharaoh YP. You feel me? And if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all social media. Comment below what reaction you want to do next. And comment below what video you want to do next like this or in in that nature, you feel me? And or another type of young Pharaoh video, you feel me? And yeah, Dean found this origin about Valentine's Day. I'm pretty sure I didn't get to talk about this day in a video, a spiritual video, so we're gonna react to him and get his, you feel me, his origin, you feel me, because we already know he's gonna be talking about that real, you feel me. And if you didn't know nothing about this, you finna learn to die, baby, you feel me. If you're new, subscribe, check out the merch in the description box, go go copy some heat and drip, you feel me. No further, let's get into the reaction. In ancient Greece, uh, as an event that we document in history called Lupercalia. Mm -hmm. um, Lupercalia was a giant pedophile sacrifice. Um, yeah, that, that happened went. between like the 12th and the 15th. It was cut and dry. Every February 14th, they would sacrifice children uh, to, you know, their demonic deities that they believed in. And, um, yeah, and crazy, right? It's also associated with pedophilia. As I stated before, eros is the etymological root of the word erotic or eroticism, which is sexual love. Eros is also a little boy deity in ancient Greece who was considered, uh, you know, the national symbol of sexual attraction because they would like the little boys. So basically, it was just a horny little bastard, what they, what they, what they call um, young teens or whatever the fuck they want to call them. Well, you, you always want to fuck and fuck on whoever, whatever. E. Ross is alleged mother of <coughs> Aphrodite, who's a man, a transgender, and which I need. That shit crazy, right? The know is the only difference between Greece and Rome is some of the names of the deities, but they shared it the yep. exact same mythology. Pretty so much. E. Ross and Greece would be called Cupid in Rome. Aphrodite in Greece would be called Venus in Rome. But y'all remember these are the same people. Just so like how know, Odin is Zeus and Zeus is Odin. That E. Ross and Aphrodite actually comes from the Babylonian story of Ishtar and Tammuz. Now, Tammuz is Nimrod, and Ishtar is Esther, a.k.a. Semiramis. Mm -hmm. And so, the story of Nimrod and, and uh, Esther, or Semiramis, goes that Nimrod was a mighty hunter who used his bow and arrow on his own mother to make her fall in love with him. And, you know, he had sex That's with his own mother, and he got her pregnant. And that, that shit was crazy. First, and um, it's like, people don't even pay attention to our... Say nothing about that type of shit, that type of shit in the Bible. But it's like, bro, do you really be paying attention to reading that fucking book? Are you going to have sex with your mother? Are you going to be doing some crazy shit like that? Having sex with your family members? Having sex with your uh, cousins? All type of shit? Answer, comment below. I got questions. I got questions. Comment below. I'm going to be reading. You feel me? What's your, what, what's your thoughts about on that shit? On, no cap. Like, what the hell? Origins of the Immaculate Conception because he didn't want to tell his mother his army. But then again, it's people out here that's fucking their cousin without them, without knowing. Well, and they don't know it. And even if they do know it, it's like, oh, oh well. He was having sex with his mother. And so, uh, Nimrod and. He Esther, literally was a motherfucker. Easter, AKA Easter, he celebrated Easter. Became uh, Eros and Aphrodite. Eros and Aphrodite became Cupid and Venus. And Cupid and Venus became Virgin Mary. And baby Jesus. And so the reason I'm bringing this up is because mm. Venus is a hybrid, I mean, excuse me, Valentine's Day is a hybrid holiday combined of the, uh, I mean, symbolic to Lupercalia, as well as the celebration of Christmas. Cupid and Venus, a.k.a. Nimrod and, um, excuse me, Samaritan, a.k.a. Esther. And so 
This why Cupid has the bow and arrow to symbol to symbolize uh, Nimrod, who was a mighty hunter who used the bow and arrow on his own mother. Yeah. And then what they don't tell you about that Cupid is Cupid had up. two arrows. He had the golden tip arrows, which is to make you fall in love, and, and then Cupid the blunt was tip. was a fucking demon. It was on demon time. And arrows, they don't tell which you that was to make you fall Cupid. out of love. Yeah, and then if you read this like story, make him look like a little baby. Oh, it looks so cute and adorable. Nah, bitch, that bitch ain't that at all. Don't let them Cupid. manipulate you. He was basically Have like a mischievous demon. Y'all are supposed to love. Because Nimrod is considered the king of demons. And what, Nim what Cupid would do was for his uh, own, you know, diabolical satisfaction, he would ruin people's relationships. So he might see you in a 10-year marriage or a 10-year relationship. Think about this shit, Dean family. Some of y'all be having relationships and be really prepared to be good as fuck. But y'all ruin that on material and focus on material ass, stupid ass shit that ain't got no really importance, you feel me? Little no importance. Like, yeah, what them buying you that, what them doing that for you, that's gonna accomplish. They ain't gonna accomplish nothing. They ain't gonna make you happy. They ain't gonna please you. They will give you temporary temporary satisfaction. That's right, that's it. After that, after 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 that, then what? You back to what how you feeling, you feel me? They ain't gonna have you. They ain't gonna help you heal. They ain't gonna help give you no joy, you feel me? They ain't gonna rejoice you, you feel me? They just gonna give you temporary temporary pleasure, you feel me? So avoid them temporarily earthly urges. Ship and come make you fall in love with your brother. And now you an incest, you know what I'm saying? Or this guy a third. That's that shit crazy. So I guess, shit, y'all can't talk about white people then, shit. It's Cupid fault. And if you look at the paintings of Cupid, whenever <clears> he's going to use the blunt tip arrow, he has the blindfolds on. And so Cupid, you know, in ancient Greece and Rome, was used as an excuse for sexual deviancy. So a man might marry his cousin or marry his sister, and they say love is blind. And this is where that saying comes from, love it's crazy, right? It's blind, because Cupid got the blindfolds on. So you might, you know... And you be loving people blindly, and not even knowing that you actually loving. Like, you feel me? You ain't actually loving. You just blind with your love. You just loving just the love. Love, love. with your mama, and get your mama pregnant, and people say love is blind. You love who you love. You know what I'm saying? And you hear people saying that today. You can't control who you love. Facts. You can fall in love with another man, man. Love, the love is right. Now, love ain't blind. Love can Facts. see. Why animals don't just fall in love blindly? Facts. Facts. Why, why you don't see a tiger with a bell? Why you don't see a fucking um, octopus with a fucking tiger? The fuck? Type shit. You might find the only thing you're going to see close to that is some scientist or some fucking with some shit. Shit. Graphing that DNA some stuff with another and so animal. Cupid is a, uh, emotionally chaotic demonic entity that we celebrate. And as far as the Valentine's letters, those come from Saint Valentine, who was persecuted by the Roman government, I believe, during the fifth century. Uh, because what happened was that's facts that actually happened. The uh, emperor at the at the time, uh, he didn't allow men to marry women because he believed that if men were in love. And they were a part of the military that they would fight harder since their lovers was on the back. Messed up, right. And so what the Valentine was doing was secretly allowing wild. men to be with women. And the Roman government found out. And that they, they so sent him to death. Like, what and the before hell? he died, he wrote a love letter to the woman that he loved. And he started that letter off as, your dear Valentine. So when you're in school and you got the kids writing Valentine letters, you're actually writing death notes. That shit crazy to think about. And to think, we probably been, we, we did this a lot over the years. A lot of us probably wrote letters to somebody, wrote love letters, or what the kids may be, crushed letters, all types of shit to somebody. Not knowing that we that we wrote a fucking death note to them. Death note to us, you feel me, type of shit. That shit crazy to think yeah, about. You know, when you're celebrating uh, Cupid, you're celebrating sexual deviancy, immorality, and pedophilia, because Cupid is a pedophile deity, as well as a, 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 an emotional deviant deity. Um, the hearts are symbolic to, uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Baal or Baal, but I don't talk about B-A-L, B-A-A-L. Oh, the Baal. Uh, Baal, a.k.a. Moloch, is okay. another rendition of Lucifer, a.k.a. Satan. I know who you're talking about. Uh, the, the, uh, Chal the, the ancient Chaldean or Babylonian uh, definition of ba yeah, like, Baal or Baal, it yeah. means sacred heart. And you always see Jesus posing with that heart. Mm -hmm. And so this is supposed to be like the heart of Lucifer. 
and you also see uh, certain pictures of Satan with that heart. And so the Valentine's Day heart is simply... They like put two people like they put them, put two and two together. Put two and two together, please. Shit. Shit. Bali to Baal, by definition, who's another, another form of Satan. And so, you know, you're running around with the hearts on Valentine's Day representing Satan. And then a heart also looks like a, a butt, an anus. And yeah. so, Valentine's Day is a very demonic holiday. It's a very pedophilic holiday. Damn. Heart ass. Day. It's a very satanic holiday. It's a very sexually deviant holiday. And um, it, it also, is. you know, you write, uh, excuse me, the roses for Valentine's Day are symbolic to death. Because when somebody dies, you give them roses. And so, uh, they... Yeah, you do. You give them flowers. What the fuck? Yo, this shit crazy to think about. Like, wow. Females, like, how do y'all feel about this? Like, yeah, I know some of y'all probably do this because y'all are romantic type shit. Because y'all was programmed. Because the society, et cetera, showed y'all and told all this shit. But... How do y'all feel about this shit for real? For like, when a dude or whatever give y'all flowers or whatnot, it's like literally giving y'all death note, mourning y'all. That shit ain't cool. That shit like, that shit occurs. What the hell? He makes it to make it seem like it's for love, but it's really for death. So you write a Valentine's Day card, aka a death letter, and then you give somebody roses, symbolic, symbolizing that you just spiritually died. And so all of these holidays are rituals. That's crazy. Like, you spiritually died to that person. Damn. I don't break them down because I'm bitter and I don't want people to be happy during the holiday season. I want people to know that if we want something to celebrate, we can celebrate. We can make something up. They made something up. Facts. We can make something up. So Facts. even if you don't want to celebrate in the, in, you know, in the, in, the, in the correct order of our ancestors, if we, we want to start fresh, we can do that too. But we need to know that what we are doing now, that's not it. And, and you are that's being real. Be hypocritical because you are partaking every day and every month. And these different holiday celebrations and traditions <laughs> that were not only made by people that saw their ancestors, but are representative to the exact oh, spiritual fuck. deities that you claim not to subscribe to, Lucifer being one of them. Facts. Like, you, you, the same person that you hate, that you don't like, that you threatened by, you praising him and giving him all your power through these holidays, you feel me? So it's like, who are you really serving? Who are you really rapping? You feel me? Worship type shit. So, hope you guys like that Dean Valentine Nation. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And all social media is a kind blue or rational. Do next. You guys next time. Love you guys. I'm out. Go show you on Pharaoh's on Love. See you guys next time. I'm out.